What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top five hidden features inside the 2020 Subaru Outback. So if you guys have never seen one of my hidden features videos, basically what I do is this. Hey Siri, are there any hidden features on the 2020 Subaru Outback? Sorry, I don't understand Subaru Outback hidden creatures. So that's normally what a lot of the prep looks like, but I was able to come up with five, maybe five and a half to six hidden features inside the 2020 Outback. But let me tell you guys, it was not easy. But I think that's more of a credit to Subaru because everything's laid out so easily. It's so user friendly and pretty much everything is in plain sight. But let's go ahead and hop into the things I did find. All right, real quick, if you guys are into technology at all, but you still like cars too, head over and check out my tech channel, Mets Tech. I'll have a clip here on screen and I'll have it linked above. It's just my way of reviewing technology that I'm really into while at the same time, maybe talking about cars we don't have here on the lot. So head over there, check it out, drop a like, drop some comments and hit subscribe if you're into it. Let's get back to the video. So number one has to do with one of the things I see the most comments about on any of my channels. And that is how do I disable auto start stop? If you guys are like me, it's a nice feature to have sometimes, but it's more of an annoyance than anything else. You're driving, you come to a stop sign, the whole thing shuts down, and then when you start to go, it kind of jerks and starts back up. I do not like it at all, but you can disable it. So unfortunately, this is kind of a short-term solution. There's not really a good permanent long-term solution, but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into settings, you're gonna go to car, well, the ignition has to be on. So once the ignition's on, you're gonna go into settings, go to car, scroll down and you'll see auto start stop and it'll have a little toggle. So just toggle that off. Now, unfortunately in my testing, this does work for the current ignition cycle, but when I turn the car off and then back on, the toggle switch is re-enabled. So I don't know if there's like kind of a hack to make it always stay off. If you guys know, drop it in the comments down below and let's help each other out. But for my testing, it resets every time. So this is kind of a short term type of solution, but if you're on maybe a long road trip with some stop and go traffic, things like that, having that dis be able to disable it like that is super, super helpful. So that's number one, being able to turn off the auto start stop engine. All right, so number two and number three are on the tailgate, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about them here and then we'll hop back and take a look. But again, some of these are more hidden in plain sight, meaning you may see them all the time, but just not have a clue what they do. Well, I'm here to tell you. So on the rear lift gate, you will have two buttons. Now this isn't the case on every trim level, but we are looking at the Outback uh, Touring right now. So so you have all the bells and whistles, but on the inside lip of the tailgate, you have two buttons. You have a lock button and then you have a trunk lowering button. You probably know what the trunk lowering button does, but you may not know what the lock button does. Now on some other makes like Chevy and I think Volkswagen has it as well. When you push a lock button like that, it'll actually leave the tailgate up until the key fob gets out of range and then we'll automatically lower it. That's not what this one does, uh, at least not from what I've read in the owner's manual. What this does is basically if your car is unlocked and let's say you get out, grab the groceries, you're headed inside, you don't want to reach in your pocket, grab the key fob, lock the car, you press that lock button, it will lower the tailgate, it will lock the tailgate and it will lock all the other doors and the gas cap. So that's super helpful, saves you a step, you don't have to pull the key out of your pocket like I said, and it'll lock all your doors and your trunk and your gas cap to keep your car secure. So number three, again, has to do with the rear lift gate and it is the wave to open feature. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Outback is the only Subaru model currently to have this feature. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on screen here. But basically you walk up to it, you wave your hand in front of the Subaru badge, it'll beep once or twice and the lift gate will raise up, allowing you to put stuff in there and then you can head back and hit the lock button if you want to, things like that. Now, you don't have to wave. You can just kind of hold your hand in front of the sensor or put your arm in front of it if you've got stuff in your hands, but it's a super handy feature. I think Subaru probably should have pushed it more. I don't think it's that well publicized, but it's a super handy feature, um, no pun intended. All right, guys, this next hidden feature is absolutely killer. So you may or may not know that there's actually a little lock button right here, not the traditional button you'd open the gate with, but over to the right of it a little bit. Just a little black plastic button. I'll show you a clip here on screen so you can see what it looks like. So if you just wanna unlock the car, say you don't have a key fob or you don't wanna go around front, you're walking away, you just hit that button and it locks, mirrors are gonna fold in the whole nine, but there's more to it than that. That's a cool feature in itself, but you can actually program this to have a secret password so that you can get into the car without the key fob at all. Now, this is mainly gonna be used in kind of emergency situations. So you lose the key fob or 
Um, I don't think you can lock it inside the car, so I don't think that's a concern. Or if the Starlink app isn't working or different things like that. Basically, it's, it's kind of a worst case scenario type situation, but it's still cool kind of uh, aspect that you can do if you need to get into your car a different way. So the things you're gonna need for this, first of all, I would recommend disabling the proximity sensor here. So, you know, you can hover your hand in front of it like we talked about. Disable that because you're gonna be back here, your arm's gonna be here a lot, just temporarily. There's a button inside the cabin, hit that, disable it. Next thing you're gonna need is the actual key fob. So it does take some pre-setup to get to this point. All right, so you've got the key fob in hand, you've disabled the proximity sensors. First of all, you're gonna to want to press and hold the lock button on the key fob, press and hold the lock button underneath here, wait until it starts beeping. All right, it's beeping, it's hard to hear. I can kind of step to the side and hear it, so I'll do that occasionally throughout the video. but. After that, you're going to have 30 seconds to hit the unlock button. So I'll go ahead and do that. So the beeping stopped. Now I'm going to enter any five digits I want with a number of presses. So let's just do one, two, three, two, one. So let's go ahead and enter one. Wait for the beep. Two. Wait for the beep. Three. Two. One. Now the chime's going off again. So it's going to want us to enter it again. One, two, three, two, one. The car went ahead and unlocked. So the pin is now entered and you're ready to use it whenever you want. So as you can see, the rear gate is unlocked and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and lock the car with the key fob. Now, if I try to open the rear gate again, it'll obviously open, so I'm not gonna do that, but the car is locked, you heard the beeping. Now we need to put the key fob into sleep mode for this test. This will kind of simulate like you lost it or it's not within range of the vehicle. So I'm gonna press and hold the lock button, hit the unlock button twice. The light will flash, that's how you know it's in sleep mode. Now, if I try and unlock the car, it's not working, even though I've got the key fob right here. So we're ready to do the test. So all you gotta do, just in a normal scenario, You'd walk up to your car, you don't have the key fob, you'll find the button underneath and you'll enter your pin. You'll hear a beep in between each time. So that's how you know to enter the next one. So let's start. One, two, three, two, one. And you heard the car unlock right there. So it unlocks the front doors and the side mirrors open, but it does not unlock the rear gate. So you do actually have to walk around, unlock the car doors as normal, but you can actually access the car. So if I go ahead and walk around, boom, doors open, locked, and you're good to get into your car, get out whatever you need, and everything's set. So that is how you can enter a secret pin to unlock your 2020 Outback. All right, so our fifth and final feature has to do with the rear seats. Now in the trunk, you actually have little levers that you can pull and those will lower the seats, almost like a one touch type situation. Basically not a button, but a lever, a one pull, we'll call it that. And that's nice to have and super convenient, but how do you actually lower the seats if you're not in the trunk? Well, there's a way. Depending on what side of the vehicle you're on, you'll see a little black pad either to the left or right of the rear headrest. You just push in, it's an actual button, it looks like just a piece of plastic, but you can actually physically push it in and the rear seats will fold down for you. Super nice. All right, how about a few bonus hidden features? All right, these are nothing earth shattering, but I thought I'd mention them because I absolutely love them every time I get in here. First one, thigh support. But you're sitting here right underneath your legs, just reach down, grab a little handle right here, boom, pop it out, thigh support, incredible especially for people with long legs. It's a game changer. All right, so our final bonus feature has to do with that that you can hear right there. And that is the obnoxious alarm that goes off when your seatbelt is not buckled in. Now, that's not why this is going off. It's going off because the door's open, but it's the same sound. If you've owned a Subaru, which I own a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek, I know how obnoxious the alarm is. And the thing about it is, is it doesn't just start going off occasionally and then every once in a while start back up if you're not wearing your seatbelt. It goes off consistently. And if you don't do it after within a certain time period, it just gets louder and more in your face. So it's definitely annoying. You know, you should always wear your seatbelt. Let me put that out first and foremost. But there's certain times when you're maybe driving around your neighborhood or things like that, at a slower pace where you just, you're good, you're fine. So how you can disable it, it's a little crazy, but bear with me here. You're going to press the uh, engine switch twice so that it goes to on, but you don't want your foot to be on the brake pedal. Not once for the accessories to turn on, but actually twice so the car is actually on. So one, two. 
So the car actually, the gauges actually swing, the air conditioning starts, all that kind of stuff. And then you're gonna take your seat belt and you're gonna put it into the little uh, locking mechanism here 20 times. Yeah, press the red button down and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then it should disable the alarm. Now it'll start for a few seconds. It'll go off when you first get in the car, but then once you're driving, if your seatbelt's not on, it won't continue to chime. Now again, this will stay on until you unplug the battery and plug it back in, so. Just as a heads up that if you get battery work done or new battery, it will go ahead and restart doing this. Now, sometimes this takes more than one attempt. Just stick with it. You can do it. I believe in you. Maybe twice, maybe three times, uh, but eventually it should work. So it actually took me three tries to get it to work. I did mention that it could take a few tries, but I got it on the third try. As you can see, the light is not even flashing and there is no chime and I am driving above the speed limit where the chime would normally start going off and I'm showing you here that I've got the seatbelt not plugged in, it's right here, and no chime, no annoyance, no nothing, but again, a little less safe, especially when you're filming and driving at the same time. So definitely try to buckle your seatbelt anytime you're driving. All right, guys, and those are my top five, maybe six or seven if you include the bonus, hidden features inside the 2020 Subaru Outback. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below which one's your favorite or did I miss one that is your favorite. Let's have a conversation down in those comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.